Greater Roadrunner Geococcyx californianus, 20 to 24 inches, 50 to 60 centimeters. Many bird watchers are surprised to know that the Greater Roadrunner is actually a member of the cuckoo family. And despite the popular Warner Brothers cartoon character, real Roadrunners do not call beep beep and dash off in a cloud of dust to the accompaniment of ricochet sound effects. In reality, the Greater Roadrunner is a crow-sized bird that is streaky brown overall with a long white-edged tail. Its head is topped with a shaggy crest that may be raised when the bird is alert. A patch of light blue and red skin behind the adult roadrunner's eyes is more visible when the crest is raised or when the bird is excited. In bright sunlight, the roadrunner's feathers show some bronze-green iridescence. The roadrunner's legs are long, perfect for walking or running quickly after scampering lizards or slithering snakes. The feet have two toes forward and two backward, giving the bird excellent traction and stability. Built for life on the ground, the Roadrunner uses its rather short rounded wings only when it must, retreating from danger in a clambering combination of running and short flights. The Roadrunner's voice is rather dove-like, a series of six to eight low coos descending in pitch. A resident of desert and dry shrubby habitat, the Greater Roadrunner can be seen in a variety of places, including, yes, along roads, and even in backyards where roadrunners have been known to visit bird feeders, raid the dog food dish, and even to grab hummingbirds from low-hanging feeders. Nights can be cold in the Roadrunner's desert habitat. They cope with this by going into a slight torpor at night, their body temperature lowering to conserve energy. After a cold night, it's common to see a roadrunner standing with its back to the sun, wings open slightly, and back and rump feathers fluffed out as it soaks up the sun's heat and brings its body temperature back to normal. Since the greater roadrunner is an iconic bird of the desert southwest, you might be surprised to learn that this species occurs as far east as Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri. However, they are much more common and frequently seen in the desert, where they rank high on the must-see list of visiting birders. <laughs>